In a world where everyone is talking about the COVID-19 pandemic, we have a new topic to discuss. Locust swarms. But unfortunately, it's not exactly good news. We have all come across news about locust swarms in Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. And some people have been saying that this may spread to Gujarat and other states too. So let's first understand what locusts are and what a swarm of them can do to us. Locusts are a kind of grasshopper. Their life cycle essentially goes from egg to hopper to adult. There are 10 important varieties of locusts across the world. But what is of importance to us right now is the desert locust, which is what is causing so much trouble in North India. On most days, locusts are solitary creatures. But drought or food scarcity can drive them to form groups. Once the population of the group increases, it turns gregarious, which means the locusts in the group begin to hunt and eat together. All these gregarious locusts start coordinating their movements and form a swarm. There are three types of locust swarms. The first is an outbreak, which is a small pocket that is confined to a certain area. The second is an upsurge, which is slightly larger than an outbreak but is still confined to a certain area. The third is a plague, where there are extremely large groups that are separated by breeding locations but come together to form swarms. If you are alarmed by the word plague, you are right in feeling that way. When locusts form a plague, they attack crops and vegetation. This extensive crop damage causes loss to farmers, which, of course, has a negative impact on the economy. We have some bad news for those of you who may be feeling relieved that the monsoon is going to give us respite from the heat of summer. Good rains and other favourable factors can help locusts multiply nearly 20 times in about 3 months. But funnily, Monsoon is not one of the three main breeding seasons for locusts. These would be winter breeding, which is from November to December, spring breeding between January and June, and summer breeding, which is from July to October. Locusts usually arrive in India during the summer breeding season. But thanks to climate change, there have been cyclones and heavy rain over the past two years, and this has resulted in locusts swarming into India early. Desert locusts typically live in the arid regions of the Arabian Peninsula and East Africa. Heavy rain and floods in Kenya, Somalia and Ethiopia created a breeding ground for locusts. By early 2019, there was an almost 8,000-fold increase in locust population. These locusts then moved into Iran, Yemen, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan and formed new swarms. These eventually found their way into India. Unexpected rainfall in the Thar Desert in November 2019 created a breeding ground for these locusts. Also, the locusts do not have much access to vegetation in Iran and Pakistan as these countries are going through summer. And this is driving the swarms into India through the Indo-Pakistan borders. The swarms have been moving east due to strong westerly winds from Cyclone Umpun. Locust plagues and upsurges are not new to India. The most recent significant upsurge was in 1997 when there was an incursion of four swarms. The highest recorded upsurge was in 1993 when there were 172 swarms. None of these was a plague cycle though. The last recorded plague cycle was between 1959 and 1962. A locust plague cycle is a period of over two years of widespread breeding, swarm production and crop damage, which is the plague period, which is then followed by one to eight years of very little locust activity, followed by another plague period. Locust plagues can mean serious financial trouble for farmers. The 1959-62 to plague cycle saw an economic loss of around 50 lakh rupees. According to the Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmer Welfare, the recent locust incursions have affected 1.79 lakh hectares of agricultural land in Rajasthan, with 66,392 farmers affected. However, as the rabi agricultural season has concluded, the losses are not adverse. In earlier years, locust swarms have often subsided before the Kharif season sets in. But this time, there is a possibility of an increase in the size of swarms and the weather conditions are favourable to locusts. 
so we do not yet know if the upcoming kharif season will see any major locust damage or not we have not seen a locust plague since 1962 and the last major upsurge was in 1997 a lot of the credit for this goes to the locust warning organization which was set up by the british administration in the 1930s the organization's main objective is to protect standing crops and other vegetation from desert locusts Through the Locust Control and Research Initiative, the government of India has been taking several steps to control the current locust situation in India. Ultra low volume sprayers and drones are being used to spray insecticides on the fields. Biopesticides are also being used. There are attempts to trap locusts with the use of food and sex pheromones. People in villages are also employing primitive methods of chasing locusts away. like banging drums and using kerosene to start fires and smoke here's hoping that all these efforts work and that there will not be any extensive damage this year if you found this video useful do like and share it with your friends and family thank you for watching